So here's the basic idea with print 42. Here we have free 42 and here we have print 42. Now to connect the two you just click on detect free 42 tape log and straight away we've got the virtual tape visible in print 42. You can then enter your calculations and have them printed straight to the thermal printer. You can of course print the stack, print the alpha register, print programs, very fast printer this one. They all are the modern ones. You can reprint selected pieces of text. We can also type our own text straight onto the tape. This is a test of this feature hi there. So this is the Swiss Micros DM42 calculator, which runs Free42, the reproduction of the classic HP 42S calculator. Now, to print with this calculator, you can buy one of these. A Hewlett Packard A2240B, or an A, if you can get one of those, but the B is the later series. Now this is a thermal printer and it is 30 years old at least and my one has actually melted its print head so it can no longer print. The idea is that you would uh, print via infrared coming out of the calculator going into the infrared port of the printer. So when my print head melted can see a bit of a plastic melt there and if we open her up you can see a melted print head there. Now I tried to find a replacement uh, unit uh, but Epson uh, who OEMs these things uh, doesn't sell them anymore so can't use it. Now what is that? It's a modern, super fast, cheap to buy Epson thermal printer. You can pick up one for about 150 US dollars. It doesn't have an infrared port, so it's not going to be able to talk to your HP 42 or your DM 42. But what you can do is the next best thing, which is use Free 42 on your Mac or PC or Linux and echo the virtual printer tape to the Epson. How do you do that? Well you need a program print 42. Now as you're probably aware Free42 already has a virtual tape that you can view and scroll back through and if that's all you need that's great. What Print42 of course gives you is the ability to link that with a line by line thermal printer. Uh, gives you the ability to select text and copy and paste and reprint which you can't do with this. Uh, you can change the font of your tape which is great for when your log files are very big and lengthy. Um, for a uh, Free42 printout, you may actually go extra big with the font. Nice and clear, non-pixelated. 
Uh, you can also search for fragments of text. Uh, you can load up other log files besides 342. And you've got a previous list of loaded files that you can pick from. You can also, of course, paste text. So often if you want to examine a piece of code or expression more closely, you can paste that in and have that printed. You can also grab multiple lines of text and paste them like this. I often use this for code. If I want to study something in some detail, uh, I can select something complicated that I want to study and paste that in. You can resize the virtual tape to make it easier to read on screen. Uh, as for the printed thermal tape, that will wrap. Uh, an alternative to pasting text is to paste graphics. So let's take a screenshot of that same fragment. And let's paste that We can't see the image in print 42 until we scroll down to it, which is normally automatic. There it is, but we were mucking around with the virtual tape, so that's why we had to do it explicitly then. Let's paste a larger fragment. You can even paste it in a vertical direction. which becomes easier to read when you rip it off. Other kinds of screenshot that are very useful to print might be HP Prime screenshots. So let's say we want to take a screenshot of that. It's the Virtual Prime emulator. Let's right click, get a screen capture, copy that and paste that you can even take screenshots of function plots Let's print the element periodic table app. Let's print some other screenshots from web pages, for example. Here, let's say we found this image. We could screenshot that. You can print information from your spreadsheets or other apps. This happens to be my fountain pen collection. That's a good one to print lengthways. Let's print a piece of information that you've just Googled and print. And you can print horizontally or vertically, depending on how much detail you want. And finally, let's say you want a phone number. You've just Googled some 
trades people. There's a phone number you want and a little bit of an address. I can, let's see, cut the paper first. Paste. And cut. And there I have it. Something I can put in my pocket. And if I want the full map as well. Let's print that vertically so it's nice and big. Now I know often we want to put things into our iPhones and address books and reminders etc etc but if you can't be bothered and want something physical to hand someone. Remember, the Epson printer is completely silent, just sits there on your desk as your companion. It's always on, low energy usage when it's idle, so you can afford to just keep it on all the time. You don't even have to get up to pick up anything from the printer, you don't have to hear it heat up and take a minute to warm up. You don't have to worry about inkjet printing costs or whether the inkjet's clogged, print heads are clogged. It's always ready to go. Let's have a look at the pricing. Print 42 is free, except if you want to actually print to a physical Epson thermal printer that you've bought. You can, of course, print to a desktop printer, the one that you already have, a laser printer or an inkjet printer. However, that'll only print page by page and not line by line. Here are some Amazon links for buying an Epson thermal printer. On the download page, there's a Windows and a Mac version. A Linux version could be created in the future if there's demand. With regards to drivers, they will automatically be installed and they will not interfere with uh, any Epson drivers that came with the thermal printer. The Epson drivers that come with the thermal printer allow you to use the Epson printer as a regular page-by-page -page printer from any existing application like Pages, Notepad, Word. Finally, if you go to the screenshots section of the website, there are some interesting uses for Print42, some of which we've gone through, some of which we haven't. Well, I hope you enjoyed that presentation. I hope you download Print42 and try it.